No, the men of Jackass haven't learned their lesson. In Jackass Forever, they're still double dog daring each other to do the kind of stunts professionals wouldn't even attempt. Since most involve snakes, tasers, and other things you're taught to avoid, you can imagine just how frightening they can be. In what must be a first for the old MTV series, Johnny Knoxville and company play a mind game on the regulars that's truly frightening. It takes place in a darkened room and it goes where others haven't. Luckily, director Jeff Tremaine keeps his cameras poised long after the reveal has happened. Dare we say it? Jackass Forever seems more evolved than its predecessors. Thankfully, Knoxville has plenty of other stunts that can bring out the worst in the company. Steve-O, for example, is more than willing to get naked and let bees swarm him in places you wouldn't want them swarming. Aaron McGeehee has to deal with a hungry bear while his body is dripping with honey. And Rachel Wolfson, the group's first female, is game to sign up for a round of scorpion Botox. While there is no plot to Jackass Forever, there is a bit of a torch passing. New victims, including rapper Machine Gun Kelly, are willing to be punched, slapped, and humiliated just to say they're part of the merry gang. Knoxville, who gets involved with a bull that's fairly frightening, limits his participation to giving directions. The others line up to sit in exploding chairs, slide out greasy hills, and take their chances with tasers just to say they're part of the group. It's all very silly, but it does show how far some people are willing to go to get in a movie. Now, if you're a longtime fan of the series, Jackass Forever will seem like a class reunion. Times may have changed, but the people haven't. Sometimes that's just comforting to know. With your movies in a minute, I'm Bruce Miller.